Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome back to Closet Talk. And last week, I just watched the worst anime in my life called Island. Now, this is different. And fair warning, this is like take three because the first two takes, like I progressively lost my mind from how bad of a show this is that like I just had to completely cut it out. So take three. Island is a different kind of bad. See, so there is a lot of trash out there, like bad animes out there, in my opinion. And I have seen over 200, so I I think it's fair to say I know what I'm talking about. There's like the purposeful trash, like um, for example, Shadow of Eminence. You know, that show is supposed to be like cringy, dark edge, and like comedically bad. There's those types of shows. There's trashy shows like, for example, Rent-A-Girlfriend. Rent-A-Girlfriend's a great example of like a show that's a guilty pleasure, you know? But Island, this show's a different story. Um, there is just no line to follow. Uh, the story is all over the place. The, the characters are unbelievable. And just like, oh yeah, these are the four characters up here. And they're all terrible. And the author, I swear, is just a huge lolly con. Because, like, they're all, they're all tiny. And just like, fuck. And he sexualizes them. And you're just like, god damn it, this fucking Japanese culture shit. So, just, oh. God. Like... It has no follow of line. It's just terrible. It's all over the place. And like, there's nothing good about it. You know, like you will, you will see what, if you watch this anime and fair warning, don't because I am saving you the time that like, you just, God, please don't watch this anime. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Where was I? Okay, so the whole reason why I watched this anime was because of the ending. I like I play Osu, and then like I download a map, and, I'll, and it was like an anime ending. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what anime this is. And I look it up, and it's Island. And I'm all like, huh, summer 2018. What year was that? Oh yeah, you know, fucking Attack on Titan season three, like all this other great shit that went down. And then you, so I'm all like, oh, no wonder why I didn't watch this. So then. I watch it, and then I progressively, like, lose so much interest, but, like, I have to, I powered through because I was like, oh my god, there's no way, this might be the worst anime I have ever seen in my life, and that is rare, like, to the point where, like, I fucking wrote a diss track, like, it is that bad. Like, I wrote a diss track just to shit on this anime. And, yeah. <laughs> the diss track is a separate video on the channel. It's just separate because I don't want to add that diss track to the closet talk. Because it's not in the closet. <laughs> so, so, yeah. But, like, goddamn. I'm... I really tried to write a script... For this episode because there's just a lot of things i want to get off my chest but like i can't express through a script how bad of a show this is because of just like so unorganized and just everything's all over the place it's just like i don't i don't think this is a like this is not animation studio's fault it's definitely like probably it has to do with the director and it's a light novel, so a bunch of shit was probably lost from it, from the original source. But, like, there's nothing I can say because I'm not going to spend my time to read the light novel. Because I already hated the anime itself. <laughs> so, yeah. God damn. But for some reason, also, oh my god, before I forget, for some reason, the music goes so hard. For no reason. Like, the fucking music composer was just all like, yeah, let me, let me fucking put this banger of a piece while they reveal that this guy is her dad. 
in another timeline. And just all like, what the fuck? Um, oh, spoiler, but I swear, like, don't watch this, please. All right, you know, I'm cutting, I'm cutting this video here before I start losing my mind again. Just like, <sighs> keep it together. Thanks for watching. This was Yuji. Now, go to that diss track. <laughs> it's actually kind of fire. Also, I'm not kidding. Uh, Karen is a worthless fucking character. She has no purpose in the entire show whatsoever. And Sarah... Uh, God, dude. Why? Why do they do that to her?